Find the perimeter and the area of the following shape. So what we've got here is a rectangle with a semicircle. Now what we need to be able to find is this distance here, which is the diameter of the semicircle. But we know this distance here is 9, and this distance here is 5. Therefore, this distance here must be 9 minus 5, which is 4 centimetres. So you should annotate the diagram. So here, this is the diameter of that semicircle, which means its radius is going to be 2 centimetres. Right, the perimeter is going to be all the way, all the way outside of the shape. We need to add up those lengths. So the perimeter is going to be pi r. It's going to be pi r because the circumference of a whole circle is 2 pi r, and therefore we just want half of that, that circumference, so that means it's going to be pi times r, plus 5, plus 4, plus 9, and you should just go around the shape, and this distance here is also 4. Okay, so we're going to have pi times r, which is pi times 2, because the radius is 2, and 5 plus 4 plus 9 plus 2 plus 4, sorry, is 22. So we've got 2 pi plus 22. That's the exact answer. If we take our calculator out, that gives me 28.283 centimetres, and then normally we round off to three significant figures, so it becomes 28.3 centimetres. For the second part, we have to find the area. Well, the rectangle is quite easy. But we've got to remember here, we have a semicircle. The area of a circle is pi r squared, but we want half of it. So it's going to be pi r squared over 2, plus the length times the width of the rectangle, which is 4 times 9. Remember, r is 2, so it's going to be pi times 2 squared divided by 2, plus 36. 2 squared is 4, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we're going to end up with 2 pi plus 36. If we take a calculator out, we're going to have 42.283 centimetres squared, which rounded to three centimetre figures would be 42.3 centimetres squared. OK, I hope you've understood. This has been a video to show you how to find the area and the perimeter of a compound shape involving a circle and a rectangle. I hope you've understood, and thank you very much for watching.